ETFinalScore.com has East Texas high school sports covered. And now you can take it with you. Get the latest scores from Friday Night Football, articles and videos. Focus in on Dotney photo galleries and more. So don't miss a thing and get your ETFinalScore.com app today. Good afternoon, East Texas. I'm Kayla Mooney and this is your TylerPaper.com midday news update. A mother and her teenage daughter were among four people fatally shot at two Dallas area homes in a domestic dispute which was blamed on a man caught at the second crime scene. Dallas and DeSoto police said charges are pending against Irby Bowser. Two youths were also wounded at each of the homes. Officials have confirmed that the man accused in a shooting rampage worked as a special education teacher and supplemented that with his work as a hip-hop dancer for the Dallas Mavericks. The soldier on trial for the 2009 shooting rampage at Fort Hood was allowed to continue representing himself on Thursday after the judge barred his standby attorneys from taking over, despite their claims that the Army psychiatrist was trying to secure his own death sentence. The military lawyers ordered to help Major Nadal Hassan represent himself. He had asked to either be removed from the case or be allowed to take over. They said they believed Hassan was trying to convince jurors to convict him and sentence him to death for the attack that killed 13 people on the Texas military base. The judge denied that request Thursday, saying it was clear the lawyer simply disagreed with Hassan's defense strategy, but the attorneys were adamant and said that they would continue to appeal the judge's ruling to a higher court. A federal appeals court has sided with Marvel in a dispute about who owns rights to the popular comic heroes. Artist Jack Kirby died in 1994. His heirs wanted to terminate Marvel's copyrights from 2014 through 2019 to comics which were published from 1958 to 1963. Marvel sued in January 2010 to prevent that. Comics in the case included the Fantastic Four, the Incredible Hulk, Spider-Man, Iron Man, the X-Men, and the Avengers. Marvel had said the work was done for hire, a legal term that would render the heirs' claims invalid. The appeals court agreed. Margaret Pellegrini, one of the original munchkins from the 1939 classic movie The Wizard of Oz, has died. She was 89. Pellegrini suffered a stroke Monday at her Glendale home and died Wednesday at a Phoenix area hospital with her death. Only two of the original 124 munchkins in the movie are still alive. Pellegrini has said she was 16 when The Wizard of Oz was filmed. She played one of the sleepyhead kids and wore a flower pot on her head in the movie. That's all for now. Check out throughout the day for more news updates here at TylerPaper.com.